You know, one of the things that I, I think probably been the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life as a pastor was to do the funeral for an infant. Now, if you've ever been to one of these services or perhaps uh, you've seen something happen in your own church or in community where a young person died, particularly a child or a baby, I don't think there's anything that reaches more into our hearts than the death of a child. Uh, not only is the grief just overwhelming, but of course the questions that come out of it are just huge. And many people ask this question today, and it's been a discussion in the church for the last 2,000 years and longer in the Bible is, uh, what happens to a baby when they die? In other words, what does the Lord do with these children? And we also have to really wrestle with this question, particularly today, uh, I, I think in the age of abortion, we see so much abortion in our culture. So, so what's happening to all of these children? I mean, obviously millions of them over history. I think the best way to understand the thing is really to go to a story about this situation in the Old Testament. I think this has given me a lot of comfort. I think it's a great story. It's the story about King David and Bathsheba as they had their relationship and eventually a child was born out of that relationship and the child died. And in the grief of the whole thing, King David just cries out from his heart and he says, that, you can't come to me now, but I'm going to come to you. I'm going to see you one day in the future. It was King David as a picture of the Lord Jesus Christ, the greater David, talking about the whole idea is that when a child dies, that child, that infant, that baby goes to be in the presence of the Lord. And while we don't understand the whole thing, that child will not be able to come back to us in this life, but we will have the privilege and pleasure because God is good to be able to go to that child one day and to see that child and to know there's a happy ending. You know, I think there are a lot of parents today who have had miscarriages, even some abortions, different things, who are, are vexed with grief or uncertainty about this question. But just remember that let our hearts be the same as King David, that in the loss of his child, he knew that he could not have that child come in his life, but he had the assurance in his heart from the Lord that he would go and see that child one day. May you have that assurance today about the loved ones or the children that we have lost in this life. To God be the glory, great things he's done.